Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your class B and B plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to our website where you can see the pricing and the information on this unit. You can also see the price in the description below. However, once this unit is sold, that link and the price will be removed. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please give us a call in our office at 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2011 Four Winds Siesta. Right, folks, it is time for the inside portion of today's video tour. We're inside this 2011 Four Winds Siesta. Uh, the story on this one is I actually bought this about a year and a half ago. Uh, I bought it from an elderly couple that one of them had, I think it was Alzheimer's if I remember right. Uh, they bought this thing brand new and one of them got Alzheimer's so they're never unfortunately able to use it very much. Um, when I purchased it the first go around, it had uh, about 1800 miles on it. I sold it to a couple over in Indiana uh, about a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago, somewhere around there. Uh, they used it, uh, now has 6,200 miles on it, so they used it a decent amount. Uh, they just said that life changed, plans changed. Um, they weren't looking to do a whole lot of traveling now. So they sold this back to me and they went out and purchased a new travel trailer. They were more so just looking to be in a permanent spot, local to their place instead of traveling. So here it is, I have it back again. Uh, it was beautiful the first go around. The people that bought it from me did not do any damage to it at all. Uh, it is still very beautiful. You have the jackknife sofa here is going to sleep two people. Got the shades down, uh, but nice big side windows. If somebody is traveling back here, they can see out, see the countryside. Got the nice curved, I think they call them airplane style. Cabinet doors, just a little more attractive. They got that nice curve in them. A little dark, but the storage goes all the way down to the end, all three of those doors. Coming over to the driver's side. Same storage overhead, nice big side window again. The dinette will go down into a bed as well. That will sleep two people. So this unit has a total sleeping capacity of four people. The way that we're gonna make the bed here, we're actually gonna drop the table down. There's some ledges down here that you're gonna rest the table on. You will then rearrange your cushions. You can take your backs and bring them to the center or your bottoms and bring them to the center and your backs drop them down. Basically just rearrange those cushions and you're gonna form a bed right there. We have the thermostat for the ducted air conditioning as well as the propane furnace on the wall there. Kitchen area is on the driver's side. Got decent storage over top of the kitchen there. Door number one there, the big door that is the bathroom. Stainless front refrigerator. I'll show you that on the way back towards the front since the door is open towards the front. This is a side entry model. Got a decent size wardrobe here with a mirrored door on that. Got the rod up top there to hang your clothes on. Uh, awning rod. One of those uh, aluminum foil bubble wrap thingies for your windshield. Thingamajigs. A couple of drawers below that for your socks, underwear, things of that nature. Uh, fuse panel and circuit breakers. This here is our control center. Um, remote start for our owning generator. It is a 4K gasoline owning generator. If you hold the stop side of the switch, it's going to show the hours. We got 155 hours on the generator. Water pump switch. Water heater. Uh, it is a gas water heater. You can hold any one of these buttons here. I'm just going to light up our gauges to show you how much is roughly in each one of your tanks. I'm going to pop into the bathroom here. Nice size bathroom. Got the commode there on the floor, obviously. Bathroom sink that is stainless. One outlet on the wall. Medicine cabinet with mirror and light overhead. Shower here with a nice glass door. Hop in here and uh, let you know what the headroom is. It does have the skylight overhead to give you some extra headroom in the center of the shower. Excuse the wall shot here, but I'm trying to stand in the shower. Okay, I'm 6'3". 
I have plenty of headroom. Uh, actually, it could be another maybe three, four inches before my head would start rubbing the ceiling in that skylight. Um, standing this way with my shoulders, uh, I'm going to call it east to west, side to side of the unit. Um, it's a 6'3", 225 pounds, 230 pounds. Um, it is a little tight. My shoulders are touching the sidewall and the glass door. If I turn with my shoulders facing north and south, uh, I have plenty of room to stand this direction. Overall headroom in the entirety of the unit. Um, the lights obviously always drop down a little bit, uh, but headroom uh, everywhere else besides the lights, I'm going to say based on how tall I am, is roughly 6'5", maybe, maybe 6'6". Six, six. If you need an exact on that, I can get you a tape measure. Shoot me an email or a text. I'll get you an exact measurement, but I'm 6'3". I have no problems with walking through this coach. My head don't touch the lights or anything like that. Uh, we'll pop over to the fridge here first. Again, nice stainless front fridge and freezer combination unit. Got the freezer up top, refrigerator down bottom. This is a two-way. it run on 110 or propane gas. Popping over to the kitchen area, we have your three burner cooktop. Down bottom, we have your half time uh, microwave slash convection oven. As you can see that's all stainless. We got the stainless range hood with fan and light. Two basin kitchen sink. Got the cutting board covers. You can use those for cutting boards. If you don't want to use them for cutting boards, they do give you that extra counter space when you need it. Cover the sink up. Voila, you've got some extra counter space. What do you call a fish with no eyes? What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fush, fush. I know, it's pretty dry, but hey, I'm running out of jokes. If you got anything, uh, please comment below. Let me know if I can use them. Please only clean jokes. We are family friendly here. Uh, we do appreciate all of you loyal YouTube subscribers and followers. Uh, thank you. We welcome your feedback, comments, uh, please leave those below. Please like and share this video. For all of our newcomers, please hit the subscribe button. And please like, comment, and share this video. I always do a rating on all of my coaches. Um, this one here, like I said, this is a 2011 6200, not 62,000, 6,200 actual miles. Um, I'm going to call this thing a 9.5. Uh, very, very nice coach. Uh, I, love the, I love the floor plan. I love the layout. Um, you can sleep up to floor people, four people, pop that jackknife sofa down for you there. You can see you can sleep that two on that bed. Uh, the, the walkway is still accessible. So anybody that needs to get up in the middle of the night and use the restroom, they can do that. Got the media up here in the front. We got a 32 inch flat screen TV storage on the driver's side. Storage on the passenger side, which also houses your DVD player. Got a couple of TV remotes there. Ford E350 chassis, 5.4 liter V8 Triton engine. Uh, your backup camera pops up on the CD screen there when you put it in reverse. Power windows, locks, tilt, cruise, power heated mirrors. Again, only 6,200 actual miles. I am calling this one a nine and a half. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV. The best little RV dealer around since 1976. Alrighty, folks, we're going to run around the outside of this four wind Siesta. We are 23 feet from bumper to bumper. The tires have date codes of 0614 and they are Michelin tires. We have an 11 and a half foot awning. This does sit on the Ford E350 chassis. It is powered by the 5.4 liter V8 engine. As you can see it's extremely clean, shiny, nice and straight on the outside here. First little door here, we've got your coach battery. Second door here, we have your propane tank. Gonna fill our onboard fresh water tank here. Got a couple of exterior outlets, vents and access to the back of the refrigerator. We have a small storage compartment here on the rear passenger's corner. This door here is the vent and access to your water heater. Give another look down the side of it. Shined up very, very nicely. Uh, we do have the tow package, ladder to get onto the roof, backup camera. You can 
see this whole back cap is a one piece fiberglass formed rear cap. Nice and shiny on the driver's side as well. First door we're gonna come to here, we've got our gate valves, our black and our gray water tank dumps. We have a uh, black tank flush. This stuff here is just, it holds the sensors onto your tank for your black and gray tank sensors, your levels gauges. Uh, this here is su your sewer hose, obviously, is, that is storage. You can shove your sewer hose in there. Gasoline tank, we've got a uh, telephone jack as well as a cable TV jack. Got our shore power cord, small storage compartment. We've got a fresh water hose in there. Outside shower, city water connection, vent for your propane furnace. And last but not least, we have your Onan 4K gasoline generator. 